What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Alright folks, you know who this is, and you know what I do, so I'm going to give you, this is, this is a special kind of one, because this one is came out of left field. I know you guys have been following the Al Sharpton, FBI, uh, Smokey Gun, snitching rat thing going on story, and uh, I want to talk about it, just touch about it, touch up on it, because like I said, I wait till like the story kind of does this thing, you know, T, was it, Smoking Gun came out with the thing about him being one, and, uh, he had his reply, so, I figured, you know, after all was said and done, I can give my little two cents, and I try, try to, you know, I don't know, maybe you have a, I can't understand what happened, but, it is what it is with that, so let me go in, alright, the background story is, Smoking Gun had all these papers and reports about how Sharpton was, you know, they said he's dropping dimes, he ate the cheese, you know, they said he was a rat, a snitch, they said all that, they said he ratted this, he ratted that, you know, he's a turncoat, he rolled over, I guess, I guess Reverend Al had his things where he says, well, you know, he he did it, but there was reasons he did it. This is all what's been confirmed. Now, first of all, let me describe what a snitch is. Here's what a snitch is. A snitch is someone who's doing dirt with you who tells on you. Let me describe a scenario. Let's say... You, whoever the person is watching this video or listening to this podcast, and I rob a bank. And say, we both get arrested. And I'm wondering, I'm first I'm wondering, you know, then they come to me and say, they lay out what the how the plan was and they know everything. I'm going to say they come to me because I know I'm not a snitch. So let, let's get that straight. So say they come to me and they well, here's what you did, X, Y, Z. The plan was laid out. And you're thinking only two people know what the plan was. If, you, if, it's, just, if it's just you and I, and I know I didn't tell, and they know the plan in detail, that means you had to tell. That's a snitch. It's not now, here's, a, here's what's not a snitch. Say a regular Jane Doe or Jane or Joe Schmo, they see us come out of the bank, unmasked, and they tell. That's not snitching. Why? Because that's what they do. That's 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 understandable. It's like if your neighbor calls you and your neighbor is not a no, that had nothing going on. They call you because you got loud music. That's not snitching. They're supposed to do that. That's that's their that's what they do. I don't. That's not snitching. If you and someone else or a group of people are in cahoots with doing malfeasance and one or two of y'all get caught and one or two of y'all give it up, that's snitching. Regular people aren't snitches. Snitches are usually the criminals or people who are on the other side of doing malfeasance. Now, that being said, Reverend Al kind of said, you know, hey, you know, the reasons he gave. But here's my problem with that. I had I have disagreements with what he said before in the past. I had a disagreement with the Tawana Brawley situation. But I know the problem is he's done a lot of shady things. And once you do shady things, once you associate yourself with certain people, that's snitching. Now you can you can clean it up and dress it up and understand why he's dressing it up. You can clean it up any way you want to. At the end of proverbial day, you ate the cheese. Now that being said, my my problem is the timing of the issue. Why wait till now? While Al Sharpton is, you know, got his own show. He's, he's kind of on top of the world, if you want to say. Why bring this out now? 
I mean, why why couldn't you do it beforehand when he was on his when he was ascending up? Why wait till he gets to the top? See, this is why a lot of these black uh, power, black centric, Afrocentric, a lot of liberation nuts don't trust the government because you guys. And then I don't trust them either, but I'm not a nut. But uh, the government waited till I mean they had this on record, so it's, it's not like it's not on record. And besides, and P.S. people, people know if you to, who told on them because they have to tell you your accuser. Just, just let you guys know. But uh, my point is, what's the timing of this? Why do it now? Why couldn't you do this beforehand? You want to know why? Because now he's on MSNBC and he has a quote unquote larger voice for people. Now they want to. Now they want to bring him down. Like we all can agree, he snitched. There's nothing wrong with like. There's no lies after hit that. What the smoking gun had. His rebuttal, he did it. But the timing, it, it, it makes it look bad. I mean, from from the, from the layperson standpoint, everybody's going to try to go to his defense. So, oh, he's just setting the third. When any, but at the same time, that'd be like if I've been robbing banks my whole life. Or you've been, I'm going to use you because, I, like I said, I'm not a snitch. I'm going to use you. Say you've been robbing banks or dealing drugs or you've been, you, you did rob stores. And all of a sudden, you told on all the people who you robbed stores and dealt drugs with. And let's say that you hit the lottery, and let's say you grab a voice. And then let's say the news organizations pick up on that because it's Freedom of Information Act. You can find out. I mean, if you really want to, you can find out Freedom of Information Act. But uh, and what does that does that change what you did? No, you snitched. I mean, the timing. My my point is the timing. Why, if he did this, why wait till now? Why wait till he gets to, to the crescendo? Why don't, don't you do it till you get to the, uh, uh, while he's ascending? You know why? Because it's, 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 that's how they play, that's how they play people. And then my other channel is Dirty Business, but I should have known, when you deal with the government, they're the real dirty business. You know, I, let's put it this way. The best way to be is, get out the streets. Get your nine to five and do you. Cause like I said, the minute you start dealing with all this, what you're dealing with, you're gonna be another out sharp. Because sooner or later, at the end of the proverbial day, the people you tell on are going to get out, and they might feel a type of way. I'm not saying none of I'm you know it's just how it is. And for me, it's kind of personal. It's not really personal as far as the the story is personal because the dude's from Crown Heights. I was born in Crown Heights. That's my own neighborhood in Brooklyn. But it goes to show you, you know. But it don't matter where you're from. Anybody could be one. But my point is, it, Al Sharpton has been playing both sides of the law for a minute. And now it's just that it's more concrete as far as what he's done. Now, I understand him saying, well, there was no black promotions for music. Hey, if you want to play that game... You have to pay the price to play. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying it's what it is. If you, if you had a bunch of black promoters grouped together, you wouldn't have that problem. But now you got, you know, people know that number seven, who he is. Like I said, we all know, we all know what was said and we all know his rebuttal. But my point is also you know, like the three the three things are or what 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 transpired his rebuttal and the third point is the timing. The timing to me is kind of the key because like I said, I know some 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 shady stuff been going on. It's just I just never really trust him one hundred percent. But it's just the timing. Of why are you doing it now that he's trying to on the upswing? That he's like at the peak of where his if you want to say that he has, he's at the peak of his career. Why do it then? Why didn't you do it whenever he was like on the way, on the way on the come up? So that's just my opinion. You know, I'm not trying to bash the guy or nothing, but we all can admit that he did. He yeah, he has done this. You know, but that's what you get when you want to play both sides of the fence. Sooner or later, somebody's gonna come over, as they say, and knock you off the middle. And now he's playing like, well, I did what every normal citizen would do. True, that's what a normal citizen would do. But Reverend Al was not a normal citizen. 
He is playing both sides of the fence. And if you're playing both sides of the fence, sooner or later you're going to fall off. So keep that in mind for all y'all out there. And, 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 and watch for you the comments you see on other videos about people saying, well, I ain't going to jail for nobody. Don't fuck with them. Because like I said, I go to work about my business now. When, I, when the streets have started snitching, when I got out of the streets. That's why I do my J-O-B thing. So, just to know my thoughts, it is what it is. Well, I can't say nothing else. All right, peace.